Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you the brand new collection just launched by Chanel. In the past this has been the holiday collection, but this year they're calling it something different. So it's called Collection Libra 2016 Synthetic to Chanel. And the entire collection is very modern, contemporary. The whole thing was inspired by street architecture and materials. So think like roof tiles, rubber, glass, materials. It's really kind of funky and interesting, which is what we've come to expect from Lucia Pica. This is her second collection and everything she's done so far has been really interesting and wild. Definitely not what you think of, of when you think like classic Chanel collections. And she's now in charge of everything beauty by Chanel. Um, so she's really kind of changing the game, putting everything on its head. And I think this holiday collection is definitely going to surprise a lot of people. I will tell you that the entire collection except for the blush and the new gel eyeliner is limited edition. So if you like any of these pieces, definitely run, don't walk to your local Chanel counter or even go online and pick these things up. So let's begin. So first I'm going to show you what's probably the signature item of the brand new collection and that would be the eyeshadow palette. So it's not a quad like they've done in the past, it's actually five different shadows and they have a very creamy texture. So this is what they look like. It's called Architectonic. There's a matte dark blue, a metallic blue, a platinum gray, a concrete gray, and then a mirror gray shadow. I am wearing this eyeshadow palette right now. I found it really easy to use, easy to blend. The shadows are very creamy and pigmented, so that makes it really easy to apply. Um, the colors are really beautiful. I personally don't gravitate towards cool tones and silvers that often, so I didn't think I was really going to like this very much. Um, but I will say that because the actual texture of the eyeshadows is so amazing, when doing a smoky eye or more dramatic look, which, you know, coming into the holiday season, you will probably have more occasions for a dramatic eyeshadow look, this palette will be really great. Is it something that I'll use every day? Probably not. Um, but if you like cool tones and you like silvers, you should definitely pick this up because it is very beautiful. For me, one of the most unexpected products of this collection was the blush. Here it is. It's called Hyper Fresh, and it is a very, very bright neon pink blush. Now, with all Chanel blushes, you kind of have to be light-handed. This one, you have to be extremely light-handed. I learned that today firsthand whenever I first applied it, um, but it is really beautiful. I'm not sure the camera's really gonna do it justice, but it's very wild. It looks a lot more neon in the pan than it does on the skin. But I think the great thing about a color like this is it may look very wild, but it's actually going to be very beautiful on all skin tones. Somebody very pale and very light skinned is, again, gonna have to be careful with it. Um, but it's gonna look really beautiful and really kind of fresh and rosy. But then if you're lucky enough to have, you know, a great tan going on in the winter, good for you. Um, but this color will definitely be very attractive and flattering on you as well. It's bright. So probably my favorite piece from the collection are the new Rouge Allure glosses. This one is called Super Nude and then there's also Super Coral. And these are the glosses that come in this cute little pop-up packaging. Um, so the one annoying thing is they're not clear so you can't tell when you're running low. And this is limited edition so I'll be really sad when I finally do reach the bottom of this guy. Um, but these are really great. They're a little bit more pigmented than the Glossomers and they last a little bit longer. So again, there's a nude and a coral in the new collection. And the nude is the color that I'm wearing right now. I'm really excited about the new eyeliner. So this is the only gel eyeliner right now from Chanel. The color is called Hyper Black. It's a very shiny, dark black finish. And it is a waterproof formula, so it's, it's smudge proof. It does come with a little brush to apply. Um, but it's very easy to use. I have it on right now, and I think this is going to be a great option for people who maybe don't like liquid, but they want a more defined look than just the waterproof roll-up liners. Um, this is going to be amazing for you.
If you're like me and you are a huge diehard fan of the Double Intensity Longwear Lipsticks by Chanel, you'll be excited to know there's a new color. This one is called Curious Orange. This is it. So if you're not familiar, it goes on kind of like a liquid lipstick. You use this side first. And it's going to dry down to almost like a velvety finish. Pretty matte, actually. And then you're going to top it off with the gloss. The gloss will dry down as well. For people who don't like gloss, it's not really going to stay very glossy. Um, but this really just locks in the color. And then it stays all day. With a double application, I've had my double intensity lipsticks last almost a full 24 hours. You can eat, you can drink, they won't transfer. So if you, you know, are a bride or you know you're gonna be kissing throughout the night, these lipsticks are amazing. Um, this curious orange color probably isn't gonna be for you brides out there, but it is a very beautiful kind of orangey red color that I think will be nice for holiday parties. It's very bright and beautiful. Very bold, just like everything else in the collection. So there's also two new Rouge Allure lipsticks. There's Ultra Rose and Ultra Berry. They're a little bit less moisturizing than the Rouge Cocoa formula, but they're still really great, and these colors in particular are gonna be perfect for holiday, and of course, you know, everybody likes a dark color for the fall winter season. So that is it. With the exception of the three new nail polishes, that is the entire Collection Libra 2016. Overall, I give it a thumbs up. I especially really like all of the lipsticks and lip products and the eyeliner. The eyeshadow palette and the blush are very different. They're definitely out of the box, um, but I think if you're a really inspired and creative makeup artist and you love creating dramatic looks, you're gonna have a lot of fun with those products, even if it's not something that I would personally gravitate to every day, but that's okay. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me any of your comments or questions down below. I can't wait to hear what you guys think of this collection, and don't forget to subscribe.